Alright, let's finish this for good. Right, so uh, welcome back to the uh, second video of the frames and um, the pictures and all that bollocks. Let's get this shit rolling. Sorry about the swearing again, like usual. So yeah, I've already done a video on this that no one watched, so I'll just do a brief explanation. I'm just showing all this stuff, all this. <sighs> I've, did, I've made all this in like the space of like, what, four weeks? I'm knackered, that's why I can't do it anymore. So yeah, let's just make our way through everything um, slowly. Sorry if it sounds like I'm having a stroke. I'm not doing, I'm not used to talking without a script anymore. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with uh, my Logan character. His original name was Logimol, but I, I changed that to the species. So here's all these guys. Um, yeah, this is mostly just uh, an excuse for me to explain stuff because you already get, you already get a good look at these guys <laughs> anyway in the actual stop motion videos. Um, I might miss stuff by accident because you know, I'm just scanning through everything. Yeah, you can see the stands a bit more clearly now. I struggled hiding them before. But uh, yeah, here's uh, him. Kind of dead rat, turning black, all that good stuff. He's a, he's a good... Uh, he's a blonde obsessive rat bastard. I wanted to do a video where he steals a girl's pubes, but you know... I guess that'll never happen now that I'm finished. <laughs> So yeah, I thought a fun character trait that he'd add is that he'd be obsessed with blonde hair. Uh, and he steals it from this woman, and she had, like, there's that thing at the end of her hair that I created as, like, a separate item, but I've lost it behind the fence where I last used it. So it's one of the few things that I've actually lost. I wish this camera would stay focused. Thank you. Jeez. So yeah, sorry if I seem a bit nervous. I'll get to the other guys in a minute, but um, I'll get I'll just show Grey right while I'm talking. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not used to doing like recording videos without a script anymore. Like I said, uh, struggling a bit with this because it's fucking thing. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I also struggled when I was making these stop motion videos. Um, sometimes I just get nervous and just forget how to draw, which makes me nervous and angry at the same time. So yeah, yeah I'll explain why these are all new frames from the original designs. Like these. Like none of the old ones are here anymore, I'll explain that eventually. Here's Arbot. He used to be 3D. Um, but I uh, thought it'd be better that him look like this, because I, I, I'm not good at origami stuff. Would you? Fucking camera. There we go. Yeah, sorry about the swearing again, like I said. Nibbly the rabbit. Um, I never really said his name, because I didn't come up with it straight away. But yeah, that's Sarah's rabbit over there. We'll get to her in a minute. An army of Sarah's great. Yeah, it's nibbly. Didn't do do a whole lot. That's why there's only four. Um. Oh yeah, and great. I said great. Right? It's hard to show his buck teeth. I, I wasn't very good at showing that. It's hard to like draw clearly and make it obvious that it's there. Yeah, okay, this blonde one again with a little pram. These are supposed to be like sparkles. I was supposed to go like show sparkles in her hair, but uh, decided against that considering it was kind of. Impossible to do, especially outside when it's always windy. Here's the evil ginger bitch. Kicking Grey right in the face. Sorry if these displays aren't very good. It's just it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get them displayed pro properly. Here he is getting kicked in the face. The bully. She doesn't actually have a name. I just refer to her as the bully. Or evil ginger bitch, like I said. But yeah, uh, that's him. Or her. Yeah, her. Um, here's yellow head. Yes, that's his name. I like stupid names more than, I guess, edgy, normal names. Uh, yeah, he's a lot less yellow than he used to be in his old design. Um, it looks more white here. I probably could have done with making it a bit yellow, but I wanted to make it a bit more realistic, like an actual rat, because there are some kind of blondish rats that exist in real life. But yeah, um, yeah Sarah as a rat. That was just her imagining it. It's not actually real. Um, and if if Yellowhead was to actually, you know, be in a world where all the characters talk, I, I'd imagine that Yellowhead wouldn't talk. Because Sarah doesn't, and he's kind of just based off her anyway. But yeah, uh, who's next? Runt! Also known as Knockoff Darth Vader and all that. Here he is. I don't think I actually used this frame of him. Does, there we go. Fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Focus. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I used this one because this, the last stop motion episode that I did took place uh, before the 
the second to last one, so he, he technically never had his eye healed, which is why he's still bleeding. And shit. Uh, yeah, here's all these. Bandaged, bandaged up. Hooked up eye. From the Luigi's Mansion video, or like two years, probably almost three years ago now, when I made that vi those videos. There he is running along. I used, um, I think, more of a watercolour black, because I ran out of regular black. <laughs> So uh, they don't look as good as they did before for the black characters, especially with the basic rats later on. They're, uh, they're pretty bad, apart from uh, that one. That one's a bit alright, because I tried the coloured black, but I barely have any left. So yeah, that's uh, Runt. Not much, but still. Here's the polka rats. Are we on yet? Uh, I don't, I don't do like the holes in their ears and feet anymore. I, I've drawn circles to represent the holes. This one might be a bit yeah there, um. But I don't I didn't get like I didn't get like a knife. <laughs> I just stab holes in him before because it didn't look that good. But yeah, they are still supposed to be holes. So yeah, it's Pinky. Yeah, one of Logan's best friends, along with Cheesy. Even though it took him like three months to learn a name, but yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about me giving him expressions like this, but <laughs> yeah. I just thought cause, considering set cheese. Uh, Pinky doesn't have a lot going for her anyway, so I'll just give her that extra bit of detail. Here's um, these guys. Uh, these guys were originally supposed to be, like, have more of a role in the uh, the Logan Moore series. Uh, they also were supposed to show up in the Rat of the Day series, which I'll explain more about that series later. But yeah, this is Chalky, Focus. Yeah, Chalky, Mossy, and Ratty. <laughs> uh, Mossy doesn't look that good. His, his original design that I drew that no one saw looked a lot better than this. I don't know what I did differently, but yeah. Uh, cheesy, the the main polka rat. As he's running. Yeah, um, <coughs> some of the running stuff has like blue tack. Some of them have like paper stands. Just I just left them in the last condition that they were. These are like for running on the walls and stuff. Yeah. So I think it looks a bit better, but for Cheesy it doesn't look as good as like the other characters for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, here's all these guys. Cheesy hasn't really changed. I, I messed up with the uh, the polka dots on him on his back. Well, they they're correct, but everywhere else I kind of forgot to show where uh, all four of his polka dots. But yeah, yeah, Cheesy hasn't changed really. It's just that you can see only one of his eyes instead of both. That's kind of makes him a lot less cute looking and more. Like, I'll bite your balls off if you come close. But Cheesy's a friendly rat, so it doesn't make sense for him to be aggressive. But, yeah. And then we've got Sarah, who refuses to piss in stands. Great. And you can see her stands a bit uh, easier, obviously, because they're fucking giant. But, yeah, sorry about the swearing again. Again, sorry that I might be stuttering and all that. I'm just not used to talking out loud like this, like I've said, like, three times already. But, yeah. Um, Sarah and... Um, Cheesy. Well, Cheesy was originally like a mirrored character, like Sarah is now. Like, if she turns around, she has like the same patterns on her hair and stuff. Um, because I've I accidentally made it mirrored. Cheesy isn't like that anymore, but his original frames were. But yeah, that's kind of reasons why I get confused with the polka dots and stuff. Um, there's a her petting runt, her crying. Yep, Jesus, what's going on there? Yeah, she that one that stand fell off. That's why it's at the back. Shit. Um, pick it up. I hope this doesn't knock everything else over. Uh, there we go. There she is with a little rabbit plushes and stuff. Yeah, yellow head in there. So, like I said, another one with the plushes. Her getting like slam dunked into the ground by that ginger bitch. Her hugging Cracker and Grey Rat. Her upset and her upset again, getting pushed over by the ginger fucker. Yeah, just the bully. Let's call her that from now on. Just put that back. Eh, there we go. Uh, there, Sarah, you don't see Sarah's parents, but her ha the house that she lives in and um, Charles's house, which doesn't show up here because he's dead, <laughs> are supposed to be different, but I kind of use the same places sometimes, like in the outside stuff, so it might get a bit confusing. Probably don't know what I'm fucking talking about, but whatever. Um, here's uh, these guys, kind of like... Um, just a little uh, extra areas. Here's Stash. Um, he uh, didn't really do a lot in the uh, 
Well, just at all, really. He was only in one video where he actually spoke or did anything. He was supposed to do more in the, the final episode of the Rat of the Day series that, again, I'll talk about in a bit. Because there's a Rat of the Day series section that we'll get to in a minute. There's, it. there's him, uh, Sarah's dog. Still haven't come up with a name for him like a rabbit, but yeah. A bunch of dead rats um, from the dream. I'm blowing shit around the place when I'm talking. There's a grey rat with his tooth ripped out. Cheesy with his neck snapped. All the other guys. Uh, keep blowing the shit, sorry. Um, crack, no, not cracker. A basic squirrel that's grey and two red basic squirrels uh, just as a, like a little bonus secret in the background in some of the videos on well, the last two videos again uh, uh, these um, these all these frames have only showed up in the, the last two stop-motion videos that I made all the older frames and the older videos have all gone yeah like I said I'll explain that eventually well yeah um, here's some more of the uh, either dead or dying either way you fucked so there's no point in worrying about it there's them guys Oh yeah, I forgot to say that um, there's only ever been two red squirrels, but the original designs, they used to be orange for some reason, I guess I'm colourblind or something. I always thought that red squirrels looked more orange, but when I actually drew them, I was like, that's not fucking right. Oh, well, yeah, that's them. I guess there's only ever been one grey basic squirrel as well. But yeah, we'll get to Cracker in a minute, which is the last squirrel. Actually, he's here, isn't he? We'll just do it now. Um, Cracker smacking grey rat in the face, because he thought that's what, I guess, grey rat was telling him to do, but... He was actually just trying to get a high five. I'm not good at drawing buck teeth. These are supposed to be like sharp teeth when he's angry. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. And he makes like a knife sound effect when they come out when he's angry. You don't fuck with Cracker. But yeah, Squirrel the Cracker and not Cracker the... No, Cracker the Squirrel and not Squirrel the Cracker. Yeah, here's Cracker again. Yeah, here's his running stuff. Again, blue tack instead of stand. Just left them what they were left last left like. Don't know what I just said, but one of it. I switched between stands and blue tack, but I had to be careful because I might end up like ripping the uh, paper, like the frames and stuff, if I had to take the glue off the, the stands and stuff. Um, the basic rats, the boys. I can't zoom out. I guess I'm whatever. Fuck it. Uh, here we go. Like the only ones that I've made where. A basic rat other than the brown rats are running. Here's them running again. And here's some of them standing. That guy's getting ready for a fight. He didn't do very well. That one's powering in fear. Cowering in fear. I think I said that right yet. Yeah. Some brown ones. That one's holding some cheese and staring at the camera creepily. It's fine. Here's the black ones again. The black ones don't look that good. Uh, I drew grey eyes and whiskers just so you can see their faces more, which is something that I like about them, but yeah, it doesn't look like God for these newer ones. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, there's this bollocks. Uh, just, I got angry and drew a bunch of stuff. Me getting angry is one of the reasons why the older designs don't exist anymore, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that again in a minute. Here's some of the, uh, I guess, the tracing stuff. Um, Yeah, all that. Basically, because I didn't show all of them last time for the old stuff, but yeah, yeah they all are this time. And these, um, the I sound like I'm fucking hitting puberty. I sound nervous and shit. But yeah, um, these are just like failed drawings. Because uh, I tried dra drawing a, lo like a revived Logan with a mouth, but I thought it looked really weird. Here's some dirty blue tack, like the blue tack that I used outside. Uh, so yeah, that's all that. <coughs> Okay, so uh, sorry if you heard me coughing then. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to talk about now how, why, like, I've had to make new f designs and stuff for everything. Um, which I think, you know, not, not none of them really look that different. Some of them look better, some of them look worse. Especially Sarah, she looks way better. Considering she looked like just a man wearing a wig last time. I didn't notice how bad the original looked until I made these new designs, but yeah. Um... So yeah, the Rat of the Day series. I finished the Logomol series, which is all these guys, but... Fortunately, I've uh, I cancelled the Rat of the Day series, which is really annoying, because um, I uh, I already created everything that I needed to create for the uh, the final video. Um, it's just a stop motion bit that I had to do. Um, that was all that was left. But uh, 
Well, here's all that's left of the rat of the day. Um, some stuff. Uh, I'll explain every f- what all this shit means eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, like what I said with, with this bit here, where have I got really angry? I just scribbled all that shit out, even though there wasn't really anything wrong with it. Um, with this stuff, or the stuff that's not here anymore, eh? I destroyed all that because I got a tiny bit angry. I don't know if I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like to, you know, talk about it too much, but I feel like it kind of have to in this situation. But yeah, here's all that's left of the, uh, the Rat of the Day stuff and some of the older local stuff, actually. Well, actually, none of this stuff. This was all Rat of the Day stuff, but... Yeah, me destroying everything obviously involved uh, destroying the old locomotive stuff as well. So yeah, sorry again if it what I'm saying doesn't sound like it's making a lot of sense. I'm kind of just ranting. But yeah, basically the story of the rat of the day was, um, well the last video was that the pest control arrives and all these rat guys had to uh, fight the pest control. And uh, look, they, they didn't know that Logan was like it, the Logan character over there. They didn't know that he was uh, using them for a uh, to uh, you know battle the uh, pest control man. So all the rats would eventually leave, and uh, they'd see that Logan's been keeping a collection of all the rats that he's had. Like, so they realise what a big fan uh, he is of them all. I'll, I'll show all these in closer detail in a minute. So they decide to come back and help him, and you know all that happy bollocks on all that. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the story. <laughs> Uh, there's no point in going on about it too much because obviously you're never going to see it now. This is all that remains. Um, and there's other video ideas that I've wanted to do that I never did do. Um, anyway, so yeah. I am, I'm only bringing this one up because obviously I was planning on actually doing this video, but nope. So yeah. Alright, so the, the this is basically showing all the rats that were in the Rat of the Day, like all the guys that took part, apart from uh, the new... Uh, the new characters that were involved in the new, you know, the last episode and um, um, the Logan character because he was the one that collected all this so I thought it would be a bit weird if he had stuff up, like pictures and stuff of himself so yeah, we've got Scrat I bought this specifically for this video um, I wanted to try and find like, some sort of merchandise for every single character but I couldn't, uh, Pat Rat and Watchdog, or Watchdog as I like to say these two were the only I think the only two things that I had that uh, I already had before I started this video, like, I didn't get it specifically for this video, but everything else I either made or bought specifically for the, the final Rat of the Day video. Lego Scaredy Rat, again, tried to get merchandise of all characters, but I couldn't seem to find this guy anywhere, so I just settled for a picture of it. <laughs> Lego Scaredy Rat, um, Pokemon cards of Rattata, Raticate, uh Alolan Rattata and Alolan Raticate, because they were originally supposed to, well, Rattata Kate, yeah, I'm sure I said that right, Um, was originally supposed to evolve into the Alolan one in the final video, Um, but yeah, obviously it won't happen like I said, Um, what else is there, there's Toy Freddy, which obviously isn't a rat or a mouse, but uh, I just thought I'd have him there, because he was there for the same reasons as the rats anyway. Uh, Luigi's Mansion One Mouse. Um, that's supposed to be in like the observatory area where the rat's kind of just moving underneath the path, but um, whatever. Here's Pinky, just a head, whatever. Uh, Metopia Mouse. Should move this. Hang on. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion Two Mouse. None of these are in any particular order. Uh, the f- find that's at Freddy's Free Mouse or Rat from the uh, the mini games. Finance at Candy's Rat. Um, he would have done a bit more in his uh, in the final video. I actually, like I said, I already finished creating everything, so he was already like standing up and moving and stuff, which would have been cool to see. But oh well, Gear Rat from Finance at Freddy's World. Uh, cheesy. I gave him a mouth for some reason. I just thought, you know, see what that would look like. <laughs> um, Bomb Chew from Smash Bros. Heart and Mad Rat from Mad Rat Dead. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to hang up all of these on the wall with blue tack, but yeah, here we go. Rock Throw Rat from the uh, Ice Age. The Cool Spot Mouse from the Cool Spot game. Uh, they're supposed to be like throwing shit at each other there. It's not like a puzzle that I'm trying to put together with these like weird shaped frames, but yeah. It's just random designs that I came up with. Uh, 
Luigi's Mansion 3 mouse, half shadow and all that from the glitch videos. Uh, the rat from Ice Age 2, the Meltdown for Wii video game. Of all, yeah, probably the most obscure one, but again, it's still a rat, so it counts. Uh, the rat from the Nightmare, f Nightmare Before Christmas. This probably would have been good for the um, this type of design with the rat like on a path over, you know, with the moon in the background would have been good for um, Luigi's Mansion One Mouse as well, because because they're in there's like a similar environment to that in the observatory room. But oh well. Um, we party mouse with a key. I kind of run out of ideas for some of these guys, and I've skipped the fucking Snoop. Yeah, Snoop from Utopia. If anyone else I've missed, here you go. Here's an overview of them all, just in case. Uh, yeah, I've kind of run out of ideas. I mostly just drew the character in a back, like a, a colourless background. Or just background with just a random colour. And Stash. Again, Stash was created through the Rat of the Day series, so he didn't really do much in the Logomorph series. He was just in the background with the polka rats and stuff. Because those polka rats, these guys, were also going to be uh, in the uh, Rat of the Day series as well. Um, uh where Pinky would find them and they'd help in the fight against pest control. But yeah, that's that. Yeah, and that, that last, the the cancelled Rat of the Day series that this was all for was probably going to be the most impressive one that I've made. It'd uh, probably be the longest as well. Um, for example, there was a scene where Pat Rat was doing a Pat dance. I wanted to use, like, the, um, you're ready for this music, but uh, I just opted for the, um, one of the Pokemon contest so songs, because he was doing that to distract the pest control man while the others were like sneaking up on his ass and about to attack him and all that. But yeah, it's Pat Rat. And uh, the new characters that uh, would be introduced in the final Rat of the Day episode would be the Flip Notes Rat, as I called it, which in the, the Nintendo DSi, there was like an application where you could do like stop motion flip note stuff. Uh, and one of the examples was like a little rat or mouse running away from like a cat and stuff. So yeah, he was going to be in it. Again, fully c finished that video. It was just the stop motion stuff that I needed to do. But uh, yeah, yeah, that'll never happen. But yeah, and uh, the bonus rat or mouse were the blind mice. And they, considering obviously everyone has like in Shrek and stuff, they all have their own like design of them. I've created my own where uh, each blind mouse was a bit different with like the canes and stuff. I think one was, one had a, um, like a cat, they were all like candy canes, one had a purple one, one had a yellow one, and one had a red one, so yeah. And uh, the this, this series would eventually cross over with the Logomore series, because they are loosely connected to each other, um, where Cracker would um, get some squirrels from different franchises, three different squirrels, um, Squirvet from Pokemon, uh, um, Waddle Wing from Super Mario Bros. U, Wii, all that shit. And I wanted a really obscure one where uh, uh, I picked the um, the Wizard of Oz Great and Powerful Squirrel. It literally shows up once in the background. There's like two of them chasing each other and that's it. <laughs> but yeah, that film came out in 2013. I just wanted to pick something really obscure because I know that's quite an obscure film nowadays. So yeah. Alright, so let me just show the guys that I haven't shown yet because I'm a an idiot and I forgot. So here's the light and the revived rats. Here's Logan as a revived rat. Again, keep weird calling it uh, like saying like the Logan character. I have to say character so I, I don't get confused with myself considering they're obviously very similar. Okay, there's those guys, the shadow, him snapping Cheesy's neck and all that. Lovely. All that. Uh, yeah, I showed the basic rats, didn't I? All like the um guess like the props and stuff got some stones that I used to weigh down the um stands but that was before I realized that blue tacks a lot better if only I realized that at the beginning of all this then maybe it would have been a lot simpler but I mean it still didn't work perfectly but yeah here's the Hoover that toy Freddy broke so I have that as a reference in the Logomore series um but I make sure the Logomore series is fully original with my own characters and stuff a bunch of stuff um for sale and um, the rat killer stuff that was destroyed by the rats in the um, Rat of the Day series but obviously that episode will never be seen but I, I just continued as if it happened so I don't get confused uh, who, are, who else haven't I shown I think that might have been everyone actually 
I'll just do a quick ov like an overview of them all then. Eh? Yowly. Guess I'll end it off. So again, sorry if I'm uh, sound like nervous and yeah, awkward and all that. I'm just not used to doing these type of videos again. Again, said that like fucking ten times now. Yeah, and I feel like my voice when I talk for too long, my voice starts to go. So I sound like I'm going through puberty again. But yeah, here's all these guys. I think. Oh no, I didn't do fucking commentator, damn it. Alright, here we go, here he is. Probably one of the better ones. Commentator was um I believe it was the first one of the first characters that I made with these new designs, and I think it was one of the first characters that I made with the older designs as well. So yeah. You can get electrocuted and all that. I mean this is just mostly an excuse so I can talk to stuff because like I said you already get a good look at these guys in the actual videos anyway because it's normally pretty zoomed in. But yeah. Here he is. Uh, who else have I missed? I think that's everyone, isn't it? Just get focus for fuck. There we go. And here's all this stuff again. Again, there would have this would have been a lot more interesting if I had you know the rat of the day stuff. Um, I mean, it would have taken like an extra like two hours to you know get everything out and all together. But yeah, and obviously I you could have seen all these guys together. But oh well. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, just if. I guess a few random things to mention. Sorry if the videos weren't very good, including this one. I struggle with like lighting and stuff for some reason. When I was doing the stop motion videos, the camera would just suddenly go dark. I don't know. I don't know how cameras work. Apparently, but yeah. Um and uh, what else is there? Uh, I, I guess I started. You know, I, when I first started doing these stop motion videos with these rat guys, little rat bastards. Um, I started off knowing nothing, really. Um. Basically, just made up as I go went along, which I guess explains why none of them are perfect. But um, yeah, uh, it was more of just a challenge for me to see what I could figure out on my own. I guess it's my excuse for not, you know, learning properly. <laughs> but yeah, I started all this just because I didn't really have anything to do. But also, I I love rats and mice and most rodents. Doesn't have to just be them to him. Um, but yeah, uh, but I'm finished forever now. I, Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I uh, originally wanted to do a lot more videos, some stop motion videos and regular like gaming videos and all that. Um, not all related to rats, stop motion or gaming. Some of them were just completely different, just for a change. But no, I guess there's no point going on about them now. Like I said, because I'm finished. Um, and yeah, I could spend another like four weeks of my life creating the rat of the day. Uh, you know redoing the rat of the day stuff that I destroyed over here but um considering it took me like well I guess three weeks maybe um to create all the new stuff for that video it take like another three weeks probably to create all the stuff that I already had if you know what I mean from the older videos um but uh, with the, with the Logan Wars series I just created what well, these last two videos I just created what I needed like I made sure cause before I'd create like uh, let's take uh, I guess Yellowhead, for example, because he hasn't got everything. Originally, for the original frames, I'd have him running. I just fell over. Me arse. I'd, I'd have him running left and right, and I'd have all his emotions for facing each direction and stuff, so there'd originally be a lot more, but and he'd be a lot yellower. <laughs> but, um, yeah, again, like I said, I just made stuff that I needed for that specific scene. So, yeah, some of them have a lot more than others, but originally... They all had like roughly the same amount of frames each, but yeah. Uh, still, I can't. I don't think I could put myself through all this bollocks again. Uh, again, we all have a stuff going on, you know, our own, you know, things that we struggle with in life. You just gotta suck it up and deal with it. But you know, making it your problems, everyone else's problems, doesn't really make people feel sorry for you or anything. Not that I want people to, but you know. Yeah, I just want just I just wanted to explain why. Uh, I couldn't finish it because I'm a fucking idiot, basically. But yeah, so yeah, I'm done forever. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed all my videos. And I'll uh, I'll see you. Well, I won't see you ever again, I guess. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching. I also, as a bonus, thanks to the people who commented um, on um, some of my uh, older or just some of my older videos, like uh, for example, in the last Pokemon X uh, video. Uh, a lot of people commented on that and there's one that I hearted especially considering that was like the nicest comment I had so yeah thank you for that and I'll see you
not next time, but yeah, see ya. Thank you.